It was a historic weekend for Bison senior thrower Peyton Otterdahl, extending his current mark as the world leader in the shot put. But the highs don't stop there, and the season is still young, with the expectations endless for this standout athlete. Peyton Otterdahl improved his mark in shot put this past weekend by 19 inches, further extending his lead on the number one rank in the world this year. I think that's a really, really good starting spot. And I, I, I still believe there's more room to grow. Maybe I should also add that he is just one of three collegiate athletes to ever throw 71 feet in indoor shot put. I think we're at a really good spot right now. We want to get consistent there and then really kind of watch it develop off of that. Don't let the drive for more fool you. Justin St. Clair just sees the potential in his current world leader. That sounds funny, doesn't it? But that mark isn't safe and there are bigger dreams on the horizon. And that's where St. Clair keeps Otterdahl's focus. Every track athlete's ultimate goal is the Olympics and that's coming up here soon. So I try to focus on that. I focus on NCAA titles that I haven't won, focus on records that I want to break. Realizing this is the ultimate goal, not what you do in March, not what you do in April, but what do we do in June, July, and maybe beyond that. Facing his senior season, Otterdahl was challenged by his coach with maybe the most difficult task of his career, competing less. Last year, I would compete in all my events every single meet, um, and really I just saw the injuries kind of pile up a little bit. The small things, nothing huge, but enough that I couldn't really compete at my fullest. An injured Otterdahl still took the Summit League Championship and placed 10th in two events at the NCAA Championships but you probably won't be surprised to hear they want more out of this final season. While the plan to alternate his schedule helps Otterdahl physically, it's just as much a mental game. Of course, when you're a competitor, you want to compete all the time and everything, um, but you kind of got to pick and choose. So when we go to, say, the national meet, we're still really burning for desire. A competitor by nature, Saturdays are the toughest for Otterdahl. Watching his teammates compete in the event, he's opting out of that day. But the season's early success keeps him on course for what could be a truly one-of-a-kind season.